Hey there, fellow travelers, Bark here with Walter's World and say we're Andorra La Vela, the capital of Andorra. If you're not sure where Andorra is, it's actually this little tiny micro nation that's sandwiched between Spain and France, about a three hour bus ride away from Barcelona or a three hour bus ride away from Toulouse if you're in France, okay? And the thing is, a lot of people kind of skip Andorra when they come to Europe because it's such a small place, it's so out of the way that they kind of miss it. So I thought it'd be a good idea to give you a kind of a, a do's and don'ts of what you don't do or do do or don't do not to do when you are here in Andorra. And I think it really starts with this. Don't forget that Andorra is the country of S's. Because if you come here, you're gonna do at least one or two of the S's here. One, if you're here in the winter, you go skiing. This is one of the best places to ski in Europe. It's a lot more affordable than going to Switzerland or in France. I mean, you do pretty well here with your money when you go skiing here. Two, summer hiking. Yes, if you come in the summertime, I'm here in the summertime, you've got the beautiful mountains you can hike through, all kinds of great places. I mean, if you want, you go to the Tibetan Bridge, which is like heart attack inducing, but there's fantastic hikes all over the place. Also, you've got the spas here. Caldea, you'll see this spa. It looks like the shard, like a baby shard from London, but this futuristic glass building, that's a spa. For whether you've got kids, whether you've got, you're going with your loved ones, you can have a good time when you're there. And then we have shopping. And you'll notice shopping quite a bit when you come here. And I think that's kind of a don't I want to tell you. Don't get jaded by seeing all the shopping centers around here because Taxes are low here on goods, so a lot of the products are significantly cheaper. And so people come here to shop. I mean, when you cross the border coming in from Spain, literally like you cross the border, there's a mall with the McDonald's and shops right there. Yeah, and don't be shocked when you're out shopping and you do see they have the sticks and the knives and the pepper spray. That, that's something you can get here, just FYI. And I did say coming across the border from Spain, what you have to realize is that Andorra is not a part of Spain and it's not a part of France. It's a co-principality. It's a micronation, one of the smallest nations in the world. So don't think it belongs to them. It is their own country, okay? And I think another thing that kind of goes along with that is don't think it's part of the European Union. Andorra is by itself. Yes, they do use the Euro when you're here, but if you're looking at border crossings and you're looking at, you know, limitations on products you can buy, you do have that. And when you're coming across the border, they might stop you to see your passport or check your car. And when you leave, they might see what you're leaving with and what you're keeping with you in your car. So do be aware of that because it's like the old days. You had to go through border control, but sometimes they just wave you through and it's no big deal. So, you know, there's no guarantee you're gonna get a stamp or have anybody look at anything. It's just more of a, what do you got in your car kind of thing. Going along with that, don't think they're part of the European Union is if you are European Union or you have a European Union phone, don't think your European roaming works here in Andorra. Because when you come to Andorra, it's a whole different system. So you might get a very expensive roaming charge if you're going to be using a European SIM card here in Andorra. So do be aware of that because you can get nailed. Because see all these beautiful views? You're going to send pictures of that and it's going to really be expensive. If you're from the U.S., check with your carrier because some of them actually include Andorra with their normal packages for international travel. But uh, you do want to check that out. I know for me, I didn't have anything extra to pay for being here, but I did know for the Europeans, they need to be careful with that, okay? It may change in the future, so when you watch this video, do check out. But I thought it was important to kind of add that one in here last minute. And I'm talking about those border crosses because I got to tell you this, don't expect a train or a plane to get you here when you come to Andorra because there are no trains. There is no airport. You have to take the bus when you come here, okay? So that's one thing you need to realize. And also, don't forget your Dramamine when you're coming up here because the mountains are beautiful, but for all that beauty, there's a lot of back and forth and back and forth. And a number of people on our bus had a little bit of tummy troubles or some of those, don't talk to me, I'm just focusing on breathing. And if you are having a tough time because the drive or the hiking you're doing around here, don't forget to do a spa day. Now, I know I mentioned that the S part early with the spas, but honestly, going to the spa here is great. And don't worry if you forget your spa stuff. There's all the malls here. You can get your swimsuit for the spa. Also, if you forget your stuff for skiing, yeah, you can get your ski stuff here too for a decent price too. And talking about your swimsuits and your ski gear, I think that's another important thing. Don't forget to bring the right clothes and gear when you are going to be coming here to Andorra. Because if you're going to go hiking at some of the great trails that are here, have the right hiking boots, have the right shoes, have the right gear packed, right? But also you're gonna go skiing, have the right ski gear. But if you're gonna be coming here in the summer, remember we're up in the Pyrenees. I mean, we're talking 10, 15, 20 degrees difference between 
Andorra and go into Barcelona. So you're going to have layers on there. Bring that jacket with you. Bring the core zip. You if you're coming this summer and be ready for some, you know, snow in the winter. And if you're going to be doing some of those hikes, I mean, any hiker will tell you, don't be afraid of heights if you're going hiking. But the thing is, you have some nice hikes. Like, you can hike around right here. There's paths and trails to go up right around the capital to, to walk up that are easy. But if you're going to go to places like the uh, Tibetan Bridge, yeah, like, if you're scared of heights, I don't recommend going there and doing that. Going to see the sundials, some of the miradoras, some of the lookouts, they can be a bit nerve-wracking for people that are scared of heights. So do be aware of that. And if you're going to do a hike and you do worry about those things, talk to your hotel, talk to your guys, ask them. The tourism information office here right by the Melty Clock, right where I am, they'll gladly tell you some information to help you know what hikes to be better for you. Because I've gotten vertigo just looking at the pictures, let alone going there. And the thing is, you're going to be able to go to a lot of things here because the country is really small. And kind of going along with that small theme, I'd also say this. Don't forget to check out some of the small museums around the country. I mean, there's an automobile museum, there's a postal museum you can go to. Heck, there's even a miniatures museum you can go check out. So you have that, but I think it's not necessarily a museum, but a historic building you should see is Casa de la Velle. That's the old parliament building. And you can literally see like their old parliament where it would meet is like the size of like the Holiday Inn boardroom you can rent for a meeting with 30 people. And that's right here in the capital, right down the way. Oh, another don't I want to tell you is uh, don't forget the Instagram proof that you've been here to Andorra. And that is getting your picture with this bridge behind me and then there's a melting clock statue right there. I'm sure I'm putting the picture up right now or the video for it because that's what you have to have. That is like the thing saying, yes, I've been to Andorra. <laughs> Because you don't always get a stamp. Actually, you hardly ever get a stamp here. So that's your stamp. Now, when you're walking around Andorra, you're driving around, you might notice that the signs, they're not quite Spanish. They're not quite French. What is that? Well, don't forget, here in Andorra, the official language is Catalan. And so they speak Catalan, the menus are in Catalan. But since there's so many tourists that come from Spain and France International, they'll, you'll see a lot of Spanish, a lot of French, a lot of English. I would say it's like Catalan one, Spanish two, I mean, English three, French four in terms of when you're going around. And if you're going to go shopping, you'll be fine. Don't worry if you don't know your Catalan. Remember, merci is thank you in Catalan as well. And you think a country that's known for a tax haven and all this shopping will be really expensive. But I got to tell you, don't expect Andorra to be really expensive. I mean, the prices are very similar to going out in Barcelona or Madrid. I haven't seen anything different. My, my students that are here with me, they're like, hey, these prices are actually okay. So it's not gonna bust your budget to come here like a Monaco or a Liechtenstein. And even better, when you come here, you don't have to worry about your safety. This is one of the most safest countries in the world. I mean, I mean, aside from maybe some bank problems and stuff, but we won't talk about that things. But for like tourism safety, you don't have to worry about stuff when you're here. Like I'm taking pictures with my nice camera while I'm walking around, as opposed to just using my phone in other places. I mean, the safety you feel when you're here, whether you're spending the night, you're coming for a day trip or a weekend or skiing, it is really nice. That's what makes it a nice place to bring. If you want to bring your family, you can take them to the spa, you can take them on the hikes, a good place to teach your kids how to ski right here in the winter. Also, if you are here and you lose your wallet, you use your stuff and think, well, I'll just beg to get money to go back to Barcelona or go back to Toulouse. Don't beg here. It's not allowed at Andorra. So just a little tip for you. Now, when you're driving around the country, because you will drive, I mean, that's just how you're going to get around when you were here. Don't think those stone churches are very new. I mean, they have churches that are here from the 8th and 9th century, 10th century, 11th century, 12th century. When you see them, you're like, wow, that is an amazing stone church. Yes. Yes, it is. Now, I know I said the stone churches are cool and you should check them out, but I don't want to lie to you. I mean, don't expect to get a lot of European charm when you are here in Andorra. If you go to the small villages, you can get it. But if you're here in the capital and other places, you kind of get overrun with the malls and the new construction. And it kind of takes away from that charm you kind of expect for going into a mountain village and mountain towns. So that's why sometimes it's good not just to stay here in the capital, but go explore more. So you do get more of the charm side of it because shopping balls just really aren't charming i mean do you find your local galleria to be oh so amazing so that's one thing i kind of want to warn you about and oh what about warning i gotta warn you about the food and not really warn you don't forget to have some of the local food when you're here 
Because the thing is, is for a long time, this is an agricultural country until they went all in on the, you know, the tax haven banking kind of stuff. And so they're still very proud of their meats, their local meats and rabbits really good here. You'll have chicken, you'll have all kinds of locally produced meat, which is actually really good when you're here. And one dish you want to have, it's, a, it's like a meat stew escudella, which is basically like all the meats together in a stew, me and veggies. I mean, it's the best way to put it. It's like all the meats in there. Or you can have basically, think about cabbage and potatoes minced up and smashed together. You could have that. It tastes way better than it sounds. My personal favorite, if you get the trout here, when it's got like a sauce, they put ham over top of it. Oh, and it's mountain trout. It's from here in the mountains. It's amazing. If you're looking for something for your sweet tooth, yes, they have their own version of creme brulee, just like this creme catalan. And there's, they have that here too, the creme andorra or crema andoriana. You can get that when you're here, you know. The custard cream, you know, the eggs, milk, sugar, with the crispy on top because they use, use a little fire on there. Oh, it's so nice. But honestly, rabbit is probably what I recommend the most if you do come here, if you get a chance to have it. My postcard senders don't think you're going to get cool scent from Andorra stuff. I mean, you will, but just realize you have the French post of the Correos from Spain. That's how you're going to send your postcards. So let's look for those if you're going to send it. Sadly, there's no Andorran post office. There is a Correos and the French one too, but just have a heads up. Some of the quick don'ts here in Andorra. One, don't play music. Can't play music out on the street. That's not allowed. Two, don't sleep on the street. That is also not allowed. And three, don't upset your neighbors because they can actually go after you here because there's actually a council service just for dealing with your neighbors. But those are just some of my kind of do's and don'ts of visiting Andorra. What are suggestions you have for people that come here to Andorra? Please let us know in the comments below so travelers can learn more from these videos by reading the comments and have a better time when they're here. And I'll say bye from here in Andorra.